Hello everyone. Let's see what I got for you today. For those German sports car fanatics, I got you covered. <laughs> we got a Porsche Boxster S. Which if I'm not mistaken, the X-Men Sports, which anyone that knows Porsche, we all know about far it's a sports car brand. Even though they came up with some station, uh, not station wagons, uh, SUVs, it's still very known worldwide as a sports car convertible, but sports car mostly. This is a good looking quality toy. It's a 143 scale and it's a gorgeous convertible. I, I'm, as I'm looking at it with you guys right now, I'm appreciating the good looks. Look at those rims. It looks exactly like in real life. That air flow in the side, those are the details that I appreciate. Look at that air flow right there, like in real life. It's a two-seater. The Boxster came up in the mid 90s. This is a mid 90s to, to like 2003, 2004 model. German, obviously, Porsche is made in Germany. Look at those details, people. Even since the convertible is open, you can even see the interior there. Even the, you can see the rear view mirror in the center. All those little details are so appreciated. The bright white color, it stands out with those headlights, those, I mean, tail lights, those big tail lights. It says Porsche right there, people, so you know exactly that you're driving. Not Porsche, I'm sorry, it says Boxster. That's the Porsche logo right there in the hood. And it's a good looking toy, beautiful quality. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of the cheaper Porsches back in the, when it came out. It was more, the, more, more or less the more accessible Porsches, the Boxster. Because it's not like the 911 that is so expensive that not many, this was cheaper than the 911 or other models in that, in that time frame that we're talking about, the years. But um, it still keeps that Porsche look. It looks really aggressive, you know, that mean sports car look. Sadly, sports car died a lot. I mean, in their... That's why so many brands stopped making sports cars. Porsche, I mean, they're not going to stop making them, but they started making SUVs because they know that's the market of the future, SUVs. So they want to make sure they're in the, either they play the ball game or they're out of the ball game. So they want to make sure they keep themselves active and known. Even Lamborghini is making SUVs. So... Ferrari made a sedan. I remember I had a four-door hatchback. I mean, sports car, but it was still a four-door. So they got to keep in the ball game because they know sports cars by itself is not, it's not going to be so successful no more. So, you know, they want to keep themselves known, remembered. Otherwise, other people come and they play the ball game for you, if you know what I mean. They're going to take, they're going to take the market that you have. Or that you want. So, you know, you gotta play the game again. Look at that. You can see it, the mesh. The mesh that you can see through. That's for the airflow, if I'm not mistaken. So the air could go through and it would not hold on the, hold on the car. Since it's a convertible, you gotta put all these little uh, security features. Especially when it's a fast convertible. You wanna make sure it's a safe one, too. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking toy. Uh, Porsche, when they came out with this, I, I specifically loved it. Because I like the 911, but since it was so expensive, you didn't see them much. Now with the Porsche Boxster, when it came up in the 90s, it kind of opened a door a bit more for people that are successful but uh, they wanna, they can afford a 911 because obviously it's only for like uh, executive, 
fam family owners of uh, of a factory or something very expensive that you could afford you get a big paycheck but uh, other people were able to buy the Porsche Boxster because it was a, a little bit cheaper than the other ones so it kind of made it more accessible all right guys I'll let you look at it a little bit more appreciate those beautiful sports looking features of the Porsche and let me know what you think Hopefully, you like my page. Hopefully, you subscribed already. We'll be YouTube friends for life. <laughs> How corny. <laughs> but welcome to my page, people. I'm glad you're, you're following me. I'm glad you're liking my videos. And click that bell next to the subscribe button. It will let you know when I'm posting more videos. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.